morning, Great Bridge UMC. My name is Cheryl Pearson, and I'm your Director of Children's Ministries. And I am so thankful that you have chosen to join us for today's Sunday School lesson. We are gonna be studying today about what Jesus has to say about how we should love our enemies. Before we jump into that topic, I would like to ask you a question. Do you, any of you love to clean bathrooms? Raise your hand if you do. Do you think anybody likes to clean bathrooms? I know I sure don't. What about changing diapers? Would you like to volunteer to help me change all the dirty diapers of the babies that we see? <laughs> In our lives, we all have to do hard things sometimes even really yucky things, and we will do them without being paid. Why might people do hard or yucky things in life? We do things that are hard or gross because we do them out of love. Let's listen to this song and think about what it means. petitions and after each one you get to make a groaning noise. Do you ever groan because you don't want to do something? I want to hear your groans now. Let's say our prayer together. Jesus, sometimes our families ask us to clean up. Sometimes a teacher asks us to help another child. We might even get to clean up our cat's litter box or clean up after our dog when they use the bathroom. Sometimes we have to help a friend clean up a room. We say yes to doing hard things even when we groan a little. We say yes in love. Amen. Do you remember what happened to Jesus on a cross? He died, right? Now here's the harder question. Do you know why people wanted to hurt Jesus, to have him die on the cross in such a horrible way? It's because Jesus said and did things that were radically different. Jesus challenged long-standing thoughts and traditions and he upset people when he wanted them to think differently about the world and about God. Today, we're going to read the Bible story about something that all of us can do and all of us can relate to. We're going to read about what Jesus tells us on how we should treat our enemies, how we should treat those who are mean to us, 
The scripture passage comes from Matthew 5, verses 38 through 48. We are going to read the scripture passage from our Spark Story Bible today. Let's read together. Love your enemies. Jesus taught people everywhere about God. Jesus' teachings were different from what people had heard before. This made people curious about what Jesus had to say. One day when Jesus was talking about how to treat your enemies, he said, if someone hurts you, don't hurt them back. Wow, that was different. Then Jesus said, if someone asks you for help, you should say, sure. People hadn't always thought like that before. And remember to share what you have with other people, Jesus said. Hmm. Jesus had people thinking, didn't he? Then Jesus said a very important thing. Everyone says, love your friends and hate your enemies. I say to love your enemies and pray for people who are mean to you. This is what really makes God happy. The things that Jesus said changed the way people thought about treating others. Do you follow what Jesus says about how to treat your enemies? Is that easy or hard to do? So what do you think? Is it possible for people to love their enemies? What does it mean to turn the other cheek? Do you think that this means people should get away with bullying or hurting each other? No, it doesn't mean that at all. We should always be sure to tell a safe adult when someone is being hurt or bullied. But sometimes it's okay to keep a safe distance from others, even though we can continue to love them. I think turning the other cheek does mean that when people are mean to us, we should not be mean to them in return. Do you ever fight with your siblings or cousins or friends? If someone hurts you, what do you want to do in return? Usually we want to get them back, don't we? We want to hurt them too. And then when that happens, the other person wants to hurt us again and it's a really bad circle of hurting one another. That can go on a really long time and it usually doesn't have a very happy ending. So if you think about what it means to turn the other cheek, that means if someone hurts you, we don't try to respond by hurting them back. In Matthew 5 verse 44, scripture tells us to love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. That means to love your enemies, love those you dislike, love those you may not get along with, and pray for those who persecute you. That means to pray for those people who might hurt you or who might treat you in a way that's not very nice. So let's say that Bible verse together. Matthew 5, 44. Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. So when we learn from lessons like today's lesson, when we learn about things in Sunday school and in church, what we do with those lessons is very important. Living out our faith is called discipleship. Today's lesson teaches us some hard ways to live out discipleship. Following Jesus is not always easy but it's something that we must do in order to be considered a disciple of Jesus. So here's our challenge. We learned about the difficult things that Jesus expects his followers, his disciples, to do. We heard about turning the other cheek and loving your enemy and more. Will you be able to try to live out these challenges today and tomorrow and the next day too? Let's remember to treat others with kindness and love, and in this way we can love our enemies and share God's love with others. Let's close in prayer. 
Dear Jesus, you gave us some really challenging instructions on how to live out our faith. You told us if someone strikes us on one cheek that we are to offer the other. You told us to love our enemies. And if someone takes our coat, we should give them our clothes as well, even when it's cold. Jesus, these are hard things. We are going to try our best to do them with your help. We will try to do these difficult things to show love to others. Please help us each day, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you guys for joining me today for our Sunday School lesson. I love you guys and I'll see you next time.